Hey guys, Tony Stewart here with BlessBrother.com. And what I'm going to share with you today, you might consider it somewhat controversial. You might consider it uh, insensitive, but I think if you really hear my heart on this, um, you're going to not feel that way at all. You know, I was sitting in church yesterday, and I got a text on my phone, an alert. I get news alerts on my iPhone. And uh, news alert said that James Gandolfini, also known as Tony Soprano, passed away. And, of course, that's a big shocker. Um, I immediately wanted to find out, you know, what happened. That's a typical thing to ask in these type of situations. So after doing just a little research, I found out two things that were pretty important. The first thing was that he was only 51 years old. And uh, so the first thing in my mind went to was there must have been some kind of accident or uh, shooting or something. But then I found out later that he died of a heart attack. And then I found out even later, a third fact, that he died of a heart attack in a restaurant. And, you know, it kind of got me thinking, I mean, I'm sure this happens every day. People are dying of heart disease and heart attacks every day. You know, but it's always a big deal when it's a celebrity that dies because it kind of puts it into a bigger focus. It has more coverage, news coverage, when that type of thing happens. But the first thing I went to was just a lecture I just heard uh, not two days ago. As a matter of fact, it was a day earlier. I was listening to a lecture that it talked about heart disease and how uh, patients had been cured of heart disease by doing something very simple. It wasn't a special pill or a drug. It wasn't anything but changing the way they ate. And, you know, I've talked about this on the blog before. If you go to Rich Brother blog or richbrother.com, you see me talk about a movie called Forks Over Knives. And, you know, I talk about that, and I'm ex I talk about it with excitement because since getting a hold of that information, over just over six months, I've lost 100 pounds only because I followed what it said in that movie, what they recommend, why they recommend it, the science behind it. But I'm here to tell you that hearing about Tony Soprano, that's his character name, and obviously with my name being Tony Stewart, it resonates with me. You know, I think about Tony Stark. And that resonates with me. So anyway, this Tony's, you know, that's a big deal. And uh, hearing about his passing, I have to wonder, you know, if the choices that he made when he picked up that knife, I'm sorry, that fork, could have made a difference in whether he had to go like he did. And I believe it did because I've seen too much research. I've talked to too many people since learning about the things in Forks Over Knives. I've seen too many stories of people who had heart disease or didn't know they had heart disease but were able to get their weight normalized, get themselves healthy, and not be at risk for certain things. Now, I still got another 100 pounds I'm going to be working off here. And I'm excited about the fact that I've done it in such a way that it's maintainable. It's been food choice changes. It's been lifestyle changes. But I'm here to tell you, it works. And we all just got to be cognizant of it. I can't even say it enough. It just made, it burns me when I think about people who are, and it's not just Tony, uh, soprano or James Gandolfini, it's anyone. Whenever I hear about somebody who is not getting a hold of this information and taking it and using it, it makes me feel bad for them, not just for them, but for their families. You know, I don't want to be a statistic. I don't want you to be a statistic. I am so thankful for now the thousands of people that watch my videos every day. And I want every one of you to win, man. I want every one of you to be on the beaches of the world. So, my message to you before I get all choked up here is get a hold of Forks Over Knives. Get a hold of that movie, watch that movie, and then think about seriously making changes in how you eat and how you approach food because I believe that it can make a difference for you. It's made a difference for me, and I believe that if you do this, and you know, join me at blessedbrother.com, work with me there. Let's get your fitness together, let's get your body in shape, let's get your wallet in shape. And let's dance on the beaches of the world. You'll be in the shade. I'll be in the shade. I'm not sure if you'll be in the shade or in the sun. It's up to you. But I don't need more of a tan, so I'll be in the shade like I am right now. And we'll be partying. We'll have a great time. Because life is, I put this on Facebook yesterday, life should be gulped, not sip. And too many people are sipping through life. And they're going to find out that they got through the whole thing and didn't enjoy it. When you could have just gulped on it because you had the freedom that we have in this business. So that's all I have for you today. 
and I just encourage you again, go to Netflix, you can watch it there, if you already own Netflix, you can get there. If you don't own Netflix, go to ForksOverKnives.com or go to uh, Amazon, and you can rent the movie online for like three bucks. Three bucks that could change your life. Don't be cheap. Don't mess up. I wish I could talk to James Gandolfini and change his future, but I can't now. But I can hopefully change yours. So check it out. I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.